Welcome to Richard Suttmeyer's Four and Four, Four Blips on My Radar Screen, presented in four minutes or less. Today I dissect news tidbits from Thursday and look at the impact that the FOMC could have next week if they make the mistake and continue their rate cut madness. My first blip tracks mortgage foreclosures. Pre-market on Thursday, Realty Track reported that there were more than 220,000 foreclosure filings in February, up 60% year over year. If this monthly pace continues, more than 2.5 million homeowners will be forced out of their homes in 2008. House Finance Committee Chair Barney Frank and Senate Banking Committee Chair Chris Dodd think they have the solution. Their plan would give the Federal Housing Administration $300 billion to essentially fund a markdown of loan principles for homeowners facing foreclosures. I believe that this plan is a step in the right direction, but Treasury Secretary Paulson and President Bush must change their minds as they both have pledged that the government would not bail out lenders. My second blip plugs holes in the Standard & Poor's call that the subprime problems are half over. S&P says that subprime mortgage write-downs could reach $285 billion, and they say that the largest players such as Merrill Lynch and Citigroup have put their subprime problems behind them. I don't even think that any of the financial firms know what they don't know. There have been many calls over the past year that we have seen the light at the end of the tunnel. I say the new light is the next oncoming freight train. Subprime continues to be the tip of the iceberg. Other problem loan categories will become headline news. Credit cards, auto loans, student loans have been making the headlines, but my concerns have really not. Construction and development loans at $629 billion have 467 publicly traded banks on my problem list. Non-farm, non-residential construction loans are another $968 billion. Home equity loans are now $607 billion. If, home, if a homeowner fails to make payments on a home equity loan and is making his payments on his primary mortgage serviced at a different bank, the bank with the second lien will have problems collect, collecting. My third blip describes a press release from the NAHB CEO Jerry Howard bashing Freddie Mac. The National Association of Home Builders is upset that Freddie, Freddie Mac refuses to raise more capital to help the troubled housing market. The message from the NAHB CEO is that Freddie Mac should be doing everything within its power to restore liquidity to the marketplace and instead has decided to neglect that responsibility. The finger pointing of blame has only begun. Who will win the fickle finger of faith award? My fourth blip previews the problems caused by rate cuts from the Federal Reserve. I have made my plea. Stop the rate cut madness. Will the FOMC listen next week on March 18th? Our trading partners are screaming with the dollar versus Japanese yen at levels not seen since 1995 and with the euro at an all-time high. Gold hit $1,000 the ounce, crude oil $111 per barrel. Rate cuts have created new economic problems and they have not helped consumers or homeowners. A hint of a, new pro of a new problem was yesterday's disappointing 10-year note auction. The bid-to-cover ratio was just 1.79, the lowest since March 2004. The cover ratio tends to be closer to 2.5. The amount of award, awarded bids that went to indirect bid bidders was just 5.8 percent, indicating that Wall Street dealers were by far, by far the largest bidder in the auction not the dealer's customer. A typical reading for reopening is close to 15 percent. The auction yield level was 3.51, more than two basis points higher than expected, indicating weak bidding. The new problem the Fed may create with additional rate cuts is a wave of selling from foreign owners of our national debt. Yesterday's auction was a warning. What happens to the U.S. bond market if foreign central banks lose faith in dollar-denominated answer. Assets. The answer is, watch out below. Send your comments and questions to support at rightsideadvisors.com. That's today's 4 and 4. Enjoy your weekend.